Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're having a good weekend. Glorious weather again. Thanks to Tony for the welfare call today, really appreciated. It's nice to know that we're all being thought of during these difficult times. So what we're going to do today is a Yorkshire pudding challenge. And I've never done this before. Well, I've made Yorkshire before, but I've never done this before. So what we're going to do is do Yorkshire pudding three ways, but the last way is very, very easy. So very quickly, because we're trying to keep this under five minutes, and Jay has nearly gone ten minutes with his quiz answers. So what we're going to do is make Yorkshire pudding. So it's the Gordon Ramsay recipe, because seemingly the staff have nicknamed me Gordon Ramsay. I can't think why. But anyway, what you need is three large eggs, nice big bowl. Okay. You need 150 millilitres of milk. Yeah. Okay. Now, the secret is, apparently, and there's so many different myths about Yorkshire puddings, yeah, mix the eggs, yeah, and the milk together to start with, okay? So there we are, we've got that nicely mixed, okay? Then, and I never normally do this, but I'm doing it for now because it's on video, you need to sieve the flour in, yeah? So we're going to sieve the flour in, yeah? This is supposed to aerate it, the fancy gadget we've got to sift in the flour in. That's yeah. mine, that. Yeah, and so we've got there 125 grams of flour, yeah, and a pinch of salt. Okay, so we've got that nicely in. Okay, then all you do then is mix it, yeah, until it's lump free. Okay, best mix with a blue whisk. Okay. You're a bit noisy, Howard. Sorry. Okay, so what it wants to do, really, yeah, is just coat, yeah, the back of the spoon, yeah. Is it doing it? It is doing it. It's a bit lumpy, yeah. but anyway. Now, what if you're going to follow the Gordon Ramsay recipe, what you need to do yeah, is rest it for an hour. Okay? Rest it for what? An hour? An hour, yeah. Now, some say it's rest in the fridge to get back to cool. Um, some methods do Yorkshire pudding, which I haven't done before, so when you've done that, put an ice cube in it, yeah? An ice cube? Yeah, to cool the batter down before it goes into the hot fat. And even, uh, not to get much down here, put a bit of snow in it, yeah? Bit of what? Bit of snow in it. Snow? Yeah. So there we've got a nice batter, yeah? But what if it's not snowing? You can't do it then, can you? Yeah, okay. Right, okay, okay. So nice, that's nice, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the homemade one, right? Yeah. Okay, so right. Plate, yeah. Tesco today, yeah. 29p. Okay, 29p from Tesco. Does that do the same thing then? Yeah, it does the same thing. Yeah. So, pull the recipe through. I think it was 100 and. Um, uh, I've forgotten it now, yeah. 200 mils of water and one egg. Yeah? So that's going to go in there? So, and all you do then is. Also, oh, you're doing three different things? Yeah, I said that. Start. Yeah, no, but I thought you were going to put that in that. No. Then you say, yeah, just mix it in. And what have you put in there with it? Then all in there is 200 mils of water and one egg. Okay. Have you tried this before? No, never tried one of these before, but 29p. Like an ice sword. 29p, you can't go wrong, can you? Exactly, less hassle. You don't need chefs anymore, do you? Especially when you can't buy flour. I know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, almost on it. That's true. Okay, so we've got another batter there, yeah? yeah? Obviously, it doesn't look quite as yellow, not as much eggs, yeah? All right. Okay, and so we've got our two batters, yeah? Okay, so what we're going to do then is, and this is a, a, a tip, yeah? Pour it into a jug, yeah? Pour it into a jug, look. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do the same with the other. Okay, so I've got our two jugs of batter there. Okay, now, as it says, yeah, it, the recipe says, Gordon Ramsay says to rest it, yeah, for an hour, yeah? Okay. What's the point of doing that? Well, it lets it settle down a bit. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> okay, so you can see the different consistencies of the batters, yeah? What we're going to try and do is cook them, yeah? Yeah. Both of them to see which works out best. Okay. Right. Okay. Now the secret to a Yorkshire pudding is you need yeah right. hot oil. So you need an oven about 200, 220, 200 to two hundred and twenty yeah. 
200 if you've got a fan of them, 220 if not, yeah? And you need to get the trays really hot, yeah? So you've got a reasonable amount of oil in each, yeah? I'll just zoom in a little bit. So there's loads of oil on there, yeah? yeah? Very, very hot, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And bear in mind, yeah, properly, you don't want to wash your wash pudding trees, uh, trays, you need to get, get them nice and coated in oil so that the wash pudders don't stick. Okay, so, right, first we've got the batter that I've made, yeah, so we're going to do, yeah, six right. of those, yeah. So that's your homemade batter, yeah. yeah? Now it should sizzle when it goes in. Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. It's sizzling. Yeah. Now the spoon is to stop it, yeah dripping over the sides, yeah, because that can drag the Yorkshire puddings down, yeah. Okay. How many are you making? There's only two of us. Well, there'll be. Can you freeze them? Yeah, you can freeze Yorkshire puddings. Freeze quite well. Okay, now, the longer you take over this, obviously you can see the batter is beginning to chill. So you need to be as quick as possible, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, well, we're going to make a couple of others as well. Some big ones. Big yeah. ones. For me and you, in the week. Yeah, for, yeah. We'll have roast dinners all, all week then. So that's just made three, so. The same with this recipe, it should make eight large ones, yeah, or probably about 16 small ones. 16 small ones. Right, okay, so right. Jay, we need to make sure that we know which is which. This is the bought batter. Right, bought batter. Oh, so that's we'll fizzing quite nice. Put that in it? the back of the oven there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It doesn't look as yellowy though, does it? No, it's, it's, got, um, it's not got as much egg in it, but. Okay, so there we are. But would, you, but would you recommend people make their own, or...? I'd say that it's, it's not difficult to do, yeah? Well, it's not difficult to do, but it's not, as, it's not like as much fun as baking, is it? Yeah, like making a cake and that. If, you do it, if, you, if you're going to spend the time doing a nice roast... My dad, my dad used to put a vinegar in his York keys. Oh, there's various things, vinegar and bicarb, and you get rice through that. Yeah. Now, the other thing with Yorkshire's is... It's best if you cook them with nothing else in the oven. So bear in mind, it's the last part of the summer roast to do. Yeah. So once you've got the roast out, the meat needs to rest. Okay, this is the meat that we're, this is the beef we're going to have tonight. Is yeah. this our tea? No, no, I know it's locked for two, but... Um, Bloody hell. Yeah. Okay, so I've got there a nice piece of rump, yeah, on um, a trivet. It's not lamb? No, it's bark. <laughs> on trivet, what well, all trivet is, is vegetables. Any vegetables we've got left, we've got in here, we've got carrots, we've got leeks, we've got green beans, we've got... Say parsley. that again, Howard, sorry. Um, trivet, yeah. It's just something to raise the meat off the bottom of the pan. It gives a nice flavour to the gravy as well. So it's got loads of vegetables yeah, underneath so the we've got, meat? Yeah, we've got carrots, we've got parsnips, we've got leeks, we've got onion, we've got green beans, yeah. And that'll make a nice gravy. And all the meat is done is, all we've done is put a bit of salt and ground black pepper over the top. A bit of oxo cube, yeah, that makes a nice sort of finish and sort of goes down to the meat as you cook it. And then we've got some stock in the bottom. Now, traditional roasting, you won't put this stock in it, but I think it just keeps the meat, meat quite moist, yeah. And certainly from our point of view, it doesn't shrink as much and it make a lovely gravy at the end of it. Okay, so that's the beef ready to go in when the auctions are finished. How long would you cook that for? The beef? Yeah. That piece that size is going to take about two hours. Yeah. God, I'm starving now. Yeah, I'm going to have well, some crisps and dip then. Yeah, okay. But and Netflix. start it off, take your um, oven at high to start with 200, 210, then drop it to 160, 170 degrees, yeah, um, after about uh, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, right. We're looking forward to that tonight. Is that everything? That's everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah hope you all enjoyed it, guys. Um, 